this until you see what I got for you. I must say, I think I outdid myself. Now, wait a minute. You said we promised that we do an understated Christmas. I lied. And don't scold me. I'm about to engage in what is known as an ancient Yuletide tradition. May I have your lips, please? <laughs> Why don't you two go find a parked car someplace and give the rest of us a break? It's mistletoe, Gina. It's mistletoe. How seasonal. Other people have visions of sugar plums. And I get to see Prancer and Vixen in heat. Ah, I guess you're both very amused. That gave you a big laugh. Well, you have a warped sense of what Christmas is all about. I suppose you are the epitome of goodwill towards men. All men, anywhere, anytime. I can see that little chat I had with you the other day about Brandon had a big effect on you. I told you how sensitive he is to the hostility between us, and all you can do is stand there and make sarcastic remarks. Come on, Ginny, you have to learn how to take a joke. Oh, thanks, Lois. Just put it down over there. Well, I can see somebody's doing their part to uh, boost the economy. That's just the first installment. There's a lot more in the car. Merry Christmas to Sophia from Cece. To Sophia on this special day. To Sophia, my dearest love. That seems to be an underlying theme here. A person would think you have no other family. Oh, I'm getting it for everybody. First, I got Kelly, her gift. I'm concentrating now on uh, Ted and Haley and uh, Brandon. And Eden and Mason won't be an inch left under the tree. Oh, uh, speaking of the tree, it just won't work. What are you talking about? It's absolutely beautiful. Well, it will be as soon as it's flocked. I've always loved flock trees, oh. and this year's no exception. Flock tree? What is it? Flock, flock frock, tree, what is that? It's when they spray all this artificial stuff on it. It's supposed to look like snow. I hate that. Well, you're being so stodgy, Cece. The next thing you're going to have is pink atrocities with bows around it or something. Well, I thought one might be nice upstairs in the hall. Now, listen very carefully. The Capos have had a live green tree for the past hundred years. They will continue to have one. Do you understand? Thank you. Oh, look at all this. This can't all be for me. Yes, of course they are for you. Oh, darling, you're going to have to take some of them back. Oh, I can never do that. Come now, I think I'm going to get you your tree to bring to the guest house. I don't right? need my very own tree, baby. Of course you do. Come on, darling. Now, look at you. You keep bossing around. You always do that. I'll never do it again. <laughs> you want to help me decorate my tree tonight? I wouldn't miss it. If you want, I can have your present brought up here from the guest house, you know. I mean, I can count a man you in his orders just like that. Say the word. You know what? I'm serious. I really think you should take some of them back. Over my dead buddy. I haven't got you one thing. I mean, not one thing that you don't already have three of. I don't need anything. I have everything. Come on, there must be something you want. All right, one thing. What? Name it. I would like one glorious, passionate, uninterrupted night with you. Oh, if we only could. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh. Hi. Hi. Sorry, uh -huh. who are you? <laughs> Dad, there's a phone call for you. The maid said it's a, uh... Mr. Stern. Stern. Hotel business. I'll be right back. Okay, Dad. Mmm. <laughs> How are you doing? Okay, honey. But you look very happy. Yeah? All right. Well, there's something i got to show you. It's not for you, though. Okay. It's for Haley. Tell me what you think of it. Oh, Ted. Oh. Uh, she, she never had a engagement ring or a wedding ring. I know. No, there wasn't any time for anything nice when we got married, so... I, don't know, I thought maybe if I tried to do something nice. You know, the way it was supposed to be. Maybe we get off to a better start. Yeah. Yeah? Um, I mean, you like it? Oh, honey. I think it's wonderful. She'll think they're exquisite. They've been, they must have been expensive. Yeah, they will. It's, now, that's the problem. I, I, they cannot be too expensive. I mean, I got to be careful there. If she thinks I'm spending too much money trying to speed things up. Well, you have to make sure, baby, that it's your, you feel that you're doing the right thing. It's what you really want. Well, I've wanted to do this since we got married. I'm just... Great. Well, then tell her that. Tell her what's in your heart. Yeah? Um, so, remember, get the muffins, okay? Yeah, sure, honey. 
Bye. Bye. Merry Christmas, Dad. You too. All right. <laughs> What's going on with him? Oh, I, you know, I am so proud of him. I mean, he, he knows more than I did at that age. More what? He knows more about love and putting yourself out and taking chances. He has, he has the most wonderful, loving, warm nature. When I see that, it just oh, it touches me. Except for the moment.